Good morning. It is January the 13th. It's a Saturday. I don't have to go to class today and I'm going to go ahead and sew up the block nine or the last block of the puzzle mystery quilt and I'm going to go ahead and put it together in one video. This one is super simple so it gets laid out with fabric C, fabric D, and fabric F and then F, A, 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 B, 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 C, C. So we're going to make flying geese units out of each one of these and that'll be four each and then sew this on. So this one, this one actually should work up pretty quick. Once I get that worked up and then I'm going to pull up the final layout and lay it out on the bed and get that sewn together. Something that I do to kind of speed up the process, this is totally optional if you're not comfortable with it then obviously don't do it this way. But I've chain pieced each of the uh, middle pieces and one side of the flying geese unit. And so I have all three of the flying geese units halfway done. So I'm going to go ahead and press this open and then chain piece the rest of them right on. It's totally optional. That's not the way the pattern is wrote, but I, you know, rules are meant to be broken. Iron. Um, by the way, the hotel iron is uh, surprisingly nice. So I didn't even bring my iron up. It's still in my truck. So I've gotten a couple questions, mainly on my personal, uh, my personal social media pages. The first question is, what am I doing? Am I on a two month quilt retreat? Um, no, but that would be really nice. I'm taking an occupational safety course. By the time I'm switching career fields, by the time that I am done with this, I will have my OSHA 30 hour certificate and I'll probably finish up an associate's degree in safety because you can never really have too many degrees. Where am I staying? I'm in San Antonio. Another question that I get a lot or more of a statement is how I don't understand how you can leave your kids. Well, that's just my job has always been traveling. And I continued traveling after the babies were born uh, for, you know, sometimes a weekend, sometimes a couple weeks, and sometimes six months. My husband is extremely supportive. So I am not going to lay these back out in order over here. I'm just going to grab the coordinating collar and sew that one to the other side and chain piece all of these. This was not a question that was asked at all, but yes, I am wearing the same sweatshirt that I wore last night because I feel like it. It is really early in the morning and I wanted to get some sewing done before I started moving around too much. These are all ironed open. Like I said, seams being pressed away from the big triangle. And the next step is to sew all three of these units together. Got the top two flying geese flown, flying geese sewn together. But since I really like chain piecing, I went ahead and pieced together the two rectangles on the other side of the flying geese. So I'm going to go ahead and chain piece the bottom flying geese onto that unit and then the bottom rectangle onto that unit as well. These seams get pressed back this way and these seams get pressed this way and these two get sewn together. So this block is done. I'm going to go ahead and lay out, actually, you know what, whenever I am designing my quilt room, because we're kind of remodeling part of the basement for a quilt room, I actually think that I want to put a bed, a, a bed and a design wall. Because first off, I could sleep down there while my husband's snoring too much. And second off, um, I'm really enjoying laying everything out on the bed instead of on the floor. I'm going to get this laid out on the bed and then um, sew it together, I guess. I have the whole quilt laid out and I'm actually going to start assembling it, but I left glue tin at my house, which was the center fabric for the very, very center of the quilt, stressing me out. So I think that what I'm going to do is actually sew everything together, but put in a filler fabric and just baste it in. And whenever I get home, then I'll switch it out because this literally took me, I'm guessing about a half an hour to even get it laid out. I'm not putting it all back up and then laying it all back out. So I'm going to sew it together as best as I can. And then the pieces that are gonna to have to be ripped out, I wanna baste it with a really long stitch. That way um, 
it's going to be easy to take apart. There she is, all laid out. And I think that just for pictures purposes, I'm going to find a blue, and I didn't bring very much with me, but I'm going to find a blue or maybe a white that uh, kind of blends in with the quilt and then replace it when I get home. Okay, so I have the quilt put together. I went ahead and put in a blank square and then it looks so blank that I end up just uh, doing a really quick applique teddy bear in the middle, but that'll get switched out whenever I get back home. This is just for pictures purposes, I guess. So there it is. This is the last video for the puzzle mystery quilt. I'm pretty happy with all, all turned out. Um, the only thing that I have to say is my machine, for whatever reason, doesn't like this fabric. I don't know if it's a little bit too slick or what it is for sure, but I have a really hard time feeding this fabric in the, into the machine. And it really didn't matter if I used like uh, leaders and enders it still just kind of tried to eat it. I changed my needle multiple times, but all in all, like that's not really that big of a deal. You just have to go a little bit slower. So it all turned out pretty good. Uh, if there's any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video.